From cleaning products to non-stick kitchen pans to stain-resistant furniture, we're exposed to hundreds of chemicals every day. A typical person will have 85 to 100 chemicals measured in their body from the list that CDC actually tests. So, and that doesn't touch the ones we're not even testing. Whether it's lead, mercury, flame retardants, or formaldehyde, chemicals don't need to be proven safe before they end up in products and our bodies. But that could change. Over the course of four hearings... New Jersey Senator Frank Lautenberg has introduced the Safe Chemicals Act of 2011. It is designed to update TOSCA, the Toxic Substances Control Act, that is now 35 years old. Current law forces EPA to search for dangerous chemicals. This bill puts a mandate on companies to confirm safety before chemicals reach the market. At a recent Senate hearing, the EPA acknowledged big gaps in its ability to protect Americans from harmful chemicals. Toxic chemical exposure, even in tiny amounts, is linked to cancer, fertility problems, and learning disabilities. The coalition Safer Chemicals Healthy Families is working for a Tosca overhaul. With chemicals, it really is the Wild West. You get on the market without having to demonstrate safety. Even new chemicals coming on the market now, you do not have to demonstrate that they are safe uh, for human health and the environment. You don't have to prove that they're not linked to cancer. We need to have a, a system that requires much more disclosure of information that is relevant to understanding health and environmental effects of chemicals. Understandably, companies will have certain information that they can and should be able to be kept, uh, to keep private. But that system is out of control right now. Environmental health and industry groups often butt heads over regulation. Yet major chemical companies realize the need to upgrade the law, both for consumer confidence and global competitiveness. Chemical giants like S.C. Johnson say outdated federal laws have prompted states to come up with their own tougher regulations. Big business is advocating for one federal standard. The new bill also calls for prioritizing chemicals based on risk, creating open access to reliable chemical information, and the promotion of safer green chemistry. The EPA says the time has come to give the American people the protection from harmful chemicals they expect and deserve. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.